Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to lesson three of the ultimate tutorial for Scum. Sorry that it took me a few days, but uh, the latest patch and hotfix um, gave me a lot of work to do. And yeah, today I am going to explain to you guys how to upgrade your equipment. Okay, so the first thing that we can start with is Scum added gloves to the game that will just help you overall very, very quickly. And it's very, very easy to craft um, gloves that will protect your hands in the game. But upgrading the equipment that you're using is very, very important to your survival and very, very important to the damage that you do and various factors. Now, we can use two rag strips or we can just use two rags and then we craft rag gloves, okay? It will help your character to look a little bit more cool and it will protect you when you like building a base or doing something with your hands. But again, you want to upgrade the gear that you've got on you as fast as possible, okay? So because of the build that we went for, that is a very, very nice balanced build, we are able to craft most of the things in our crafting menu, except for crap ammo and then the ones at the bottom. But everything else we can craft, okay? So we've got the compass, which we don't, so we don't really need a better compass, but we can use a better weapon, okay? And a metal spear is much better than the axe, which only needs a piece of scrap metal, a long stick, a rope. And uh, even a, you know, a, a club with nails, okay, is better than the thing that you're using. And of course, you want to get a better backpack as soon as possible. And the improvised backpack is way better than the one that you're using. All you're going to need for that is five dirty rags, okay, um, two puppet skins, two rope, and then a sewing kit, okay? So a sewing kit is, is extremely important in scum, but I want you guys to focus on trying to upgrade your equipment as fast as possible. And even a small settlement like this can give you a lot of resources to upgrade your equipment. Like, for instance, a sledgehammer is better than an axe, but a sledgehammer does take some skill to operate safely okay because it is a slower it is a slower weapon okay and since we need um rope we can either make it from the clothing or we can make it from the tree branches but we need feathers okay maybe you're not comfortable with a bow maybe you want to craft a crossbow which is quite easy the only difficult part um of using a crossbow is that the bolts need feathers, okay? So you need feathers for the bolts. So looting various areas, you know, and being aware of what you are, what you need to be able to upgrade your offensive capabilities are very, very important. And every time you kill a puppet, even if you don't need the clothing, okay? You can still cut up the clothing for like rope and stuff like that. And sometimes it's safer cutting up clothing in a closed environment rather than cutting up um, clothing in a closed environment. Okay. Um, so we don't have a knife at the moment, which is not the end of the world because getting a knife is fairly easy. Okay. We just click on two rocks, we make a stone knife. We cut up those clothes into rags and then we cut up the rags into rag strips and that's going to give us rope. Okay, so you can make tree bark rope if you're in the forest or you can just make um, normal rope when you're, you know, when you're in points of interest. You can make improvised rope when you're in points of interest. Okay, so you cut it up into rags. And all you do is you cut the rags into rag strips. And again, the tool that you're using makes a big difference. If we weren't using a stone knife and we were using like a kitchen knife or a better knife, we would get more resources. So again, everything that you use, you can always use something better. 
until you've got like a katana with a bushman or a cleaver and an m82 with an rpk or an m249 with tactical armor with all the best gear on you with the protected base okay there's a lot of upgrading in the game that's going to be very very important for you and in in lesson four i'm going to help if any of you are struggling with dying and not being able to find your body please click the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified of future videos because in the next video i'm going to help you to find your body or find where you died a lot easier i know even for me within the first you know, even for me still now sometimes when i die in a forest it's very, very difficult for me to find my body. But I'm going to give you a few tips about that. So once we've got the, the, the rag strips, then we can just craft the improvised rope to prepare us for the upgrades. Now, your question to me might be, Luthias, why are you only showing us how to uh, retrieve our body easier in Lesson 4 rather than Lesson 3? Because up to this point, you don't have any money, okay? So when you die, you are going to be forced to do a random respawn. And I want you to go through the starting steps a lot if you're dying regularly to force yourself to be more patient and to focus more on upgrading your loot and to try and get better gear faster to be able to defend yourself faster, okay? And as you can see in these hail, in these bales, we are getting feathers as well, which is very, very good. And then I showed you last time in lesson two, I showed you how to use a scum map so that you can find the cornfields so that you're able to feed yourself um, fairly comfortably, okay, over time. Sometimes you look for the look for these the corn quite long. Other times you'll get lucky a lot quicker. Okay, but the whole concept of scum is to teach you patience. So we're going to eat that. Um, it's not really necessary to eat it now because we want our energy below fifty percent to maximize our dexterity gain, and we've got enough water. But every now and then, okay, is just good. So what I want to do now is look at my map. And I want, want to start looking at towns. If I can focus on farmlands, that would be good. But um, if I want to focus on money, then of course I'm going to be looking at um, important points of interest. So the big city is too far away from me. The hospital is too far away from me. So where we are naturally, this town is the natural next point of interest that we want to go to. Now, when I enter a town, the first thing I usually go for is a vehicle because I need scrap metal for the spear, okay? So I'm going to try and get to the easiest vehicle I can get to. That's usually on the outskirts of the town, okay? I want to be very vigilant if I'm seeing geared players, if I'm seeing someone that poses a bigger threat than me, okay? Not always wise taking on a player with a gun when you've got a bow. Um, you can do it, but again, it's not, it's not the most effective way of doing things. Okay, so again, we're focusing on the feathers so that at some point we can use whatever we want. We can, use, we can make better arrows for a bow or we can make bolts for a crossbow. Okay, just poking my nose in here and here we get scrap metal. But, of course, the easiest way to get scrap metal is just to go to a vehicle. I did see a vehicle that side. It was just a little bit um, more central to the town. But, I mean, you can aim for any vehicle. So, here's a vehicle over here. So, we search the vehicle. And there we get scrap metal, nails and bolts and stuff like that. And the reason for that is I want the scrap metal for the spear. So now I'm just going to go to a bush. Cut down the bush.
And now from the one long stick in the bush, I can craft a metal spear because of the scrap metal. Now the sledgehammer is stronger, but it's also much slower. Okay, so at the start, it's much easier to get used to a strong melee weapon like this. And remember, we need to focus on our stamina. If we don't have max stamina, we're not doing a lot of damage. But you can stab and move away, stab and move away. Okay, and as you can see, the metal spear is quite strong. So what I like to focus on in the beginning is the scrap metal, you know, but I want to focus on clothing and thread. Now, clothing and thread you can find quite easily in um, houses, okay? So there's a cell phone battery, which is going to be quite useful. Do not leave the cell phone batteries. They are quite rare, okay? Um, search the kitchen for lucky food items and then search... You know, search the houses for clothing. So that can give you clothing. This is going to give you medical equipment or soap or whatever. Okay. And then we're just going to go upstairs quickly. And like I say, my main focus is getting thread. And... Clothing. Because clothing is going to give us more inventory space. And thread is going to enable us to craft the backpack, which is extremely important. Okay. So again, just searching um, the, 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 the cabinets for clothing, searching the kitchen for possible food. There's a knife. So now we've got a much better knife to use, which will yield a lot more resources if we use that tool okay so clearly the knife is a lot better the kitchen knife is a lot better than the stone knife we're getting some food there 13 grams of protein 8.6 grams of carbs but 73 grams of fat so okay no we don't really like eating fatty foods we can search the mattress for possible money again we can search the bathrooms for stuff like that and sorry for that discord notification and yeah i'm just gonna i'm just gonna let you guys stick with me quickly because we will find we will find thread or clothing at some point okay and it's all about patience and repeating what you're doing so there we're getting a bit a little bit of a better backpack it is, uh, it is broken, but it's still got more inventory space than this one is giving us, as you guys can clearly see. Okay. Uh, searching the kitchen for possible food, which we have already found. Searching the mattresses for money. I don't really focus on mattresses because I feel I can make money a lot easier by just, you know, looting important items, which I will sh show you soon. But there's clothing, unfortunately, it's women's clothing. You know, search in there, nothing. Search that, nothing. Check around here, press tab to see if there's anything on the floor that we're leaving behind. And just stab this guy because we're not running around. So we are not wasting our stamina. We are making sure that our stamina is quite high by not sprinting everywhere. So that if we run into a puppet or a player, at least we can do some damage. Again, kitchen for food, okay? Um, and there is a gene. So we went from two inventory slots to six inventory slots, okay? And, and more weight. So that's why I say the, the houses are quite important, okay? And yeah, we're just going to carry on. And see there's shoes okay and there's a cork for if you want to do some fishing and there's another pair of pants we can just put it on see it's got the same inventory space so we're not really interested or we can cut up the pants for, for rags if we want to okay 
And then we're going upstairs. Here's the thin puppet again. We can quickly stab him to sort him out. Metal spear is quite effective. There's a glove. Check the cupboard. There's some better shoes than our starting shoes. But as soon as we get the thread and we can craft the sewing kit, then we will be able to use better shoes. Okay? Even if we have to repair it. Again, we're going to look for feathers so that we can craft um, better, um, better arrows, as we said. We're going to look in here because these places are quite nice. We've already got 10 bolts from that box of bolts that we got. We'll wear those shoes. Those shoes are a little bit better than the ones that we have. We'll go into this house over here. Open the door. Press tab. There's another piece of, you know, there's more food in the kitchen. Kill this guy quickly. And just keep searching like this. But like I say, thread is the main goal at the moment. So we're just going to keep looking for the thread. Press tab, so you're sure you're not missing anything. Don't miss a singular cupboard. Search the trash. Search every single cupboard and shelf that you can. There's another cork. What are we going to use a cork for? We can use cork for improvised fishing floater and a fishing reel. Okay. We can always right click and examine it to see what, what, what we're going to use it for. And we are just scanning the houses. Again, food in the kitchen. But again, we're focusing on thread here. So we just want to move from one house to another house until we find what we're looking for. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's been almost 30 minutes. We haven't found any thread, but what we have gotten, if you look at our character, is construction pants, a jacket, a baseball bat, uh, food, a uh, small little axe, a lot of feathers, nine more ammo, um, rope, that's going to help us a lot. And we got another box of nails, and we just removed 10 of the nails like we did with the box of bolts. And because we, get a wood, we got a wooden bat, we can use the nail and the bat to make a bat with nails. That is definitely one of my favorite upgrades, okay? When, you lo when you're looking at easy weapons to have that are very strong at the start of the game, the nailed bat is definitely one of my favorites. And then the, the metal sword that you can craft is also a very nice favorite. Bat is for range. The metal sword is for speed. And then, of course, you know, we can get double swords, but that's just from the Chinese shop. So what you can get easily at most locations is a wooden bat that you can upgrade and the metal sword, which you can craft. And the metal bat is very, uh, very strong, but it's got a lot of range which helps you a ton, okay? So again, also in the town, you can get kitchens that can give you various loot, okay? And although thread is very important, you can always go buy thread, but thread is going to help you a ton. But you can get fishing line or thread. So it doesn't really matter whether you find fishing line or thread. You just need to make sure you've got five uses and you'll be fine. And you can see the baseball bat is really good at range. You don't really have to let them come within range of you, okay? You can really, you can kill puppets from quite a far distance away. And I'm still trying my luck with a thread. And then, of course, we've got the food shops, which is very important. The ATMs, which are very important, where you can get new cards. The food shops is basically just where you get food. Okay, and the bat with his range, again, food, which is very, very good for you. And you can get lucky with other gear. You've got these buildings for the nails and the axes and, you know, the construction material. Again, I could just, without him even getting close to me, I could just beat him down from a distance, okay? I don't really have to walk forwards and backwards. I could just beat the living poop out of him because of the bat's power. 
And again, range, okay? If you get the bat's range right, you can hit him without him really getting into range of you. Where the metal sword is fast, but they do get within range. Then, of course, you've got your police station. That's going to give you ammo and guns, especially when you found, like, a few screwdrivers. If you search every puppet, you will find a screwdriver at some point. But still, it's giving you starting military, not military, starting equipment that you could save up or that you can sell, okay? So without having lockpicks, you're just going through it. You can maybe find something in that desk. We're just going to search this. Again, we're not, we don't, we're not fearing the puppets because of the baseball bat. And again, we can really keep them at a distance. Okay. There's another pair of pants. There's more bobby pins. But the top, the top is really what you're focusing on for some good loot. So you can get some good loot in these lockers. Again, flashlight, magazine. You don't have to worry about using this right now. You are just trying to make money. There we're finding a hiking backpack, okay, and a gas mask. So towns are a really, really, really good place to start. The police station's lockers have definitely been buffed since last time. Okay, there we even got a lock. Again, you can search the beds if you want to, but I'm focusing on things that are going to help you to get to that thousand bucks that we're talking about. Okay, candy bob, you yeah, know, maybe I could sell it. I'm not sure. Check if there's anything here. Um, again, the top floor is very, very nice for me. And then I'm just going to go up to the roof quickly. And then here I usually just press tab to see if there's anything lying on the floor. Again, um, we can go, we can search the garages for more things to sell. Okay. The garages can give you nice loot. I use, you can just press tab or you can search everything. Okay. That reminds me, let's just search everything. To see if we can maybe get lucky, like their medium lock. Pick. That's gonna help you a ton. So how many so just because just while search, there's a screwdriver. So we've got we've got um okay, we definitely need screwdrivers. So we've got two screwdrivers at the moment that can open up two lockers for us. So let's just see what we can get in here. That's another bolt, another screwdriver. Okay, and let's look at this one quickly. There's a sharpening stone in case we make a sword. Don't leave a sharpening stone leave, lying around. And yeah, I'm quite surprised that I haven't found thread or fishing line yet. That is a new one. But I could find fishing, yeah, I could find fishing line in the garages. Like thread is more focused in the houses. Uh, but I think I could find some fishing line in, you know, in the construction places. Now, we've got seven screwdrivers. There's eight lockers in here. So now we just go to the locker. Okay, there's four lockers in here. So you take out the bobby pin. Take out four bobby pins. Then you just right click on the bobby pin and you can craft the lock pick like that. Or you can go to the crafting menu, select the lock pick over here, tab out, and then just Alt C, Alt plus C to repeat the previous one. And again, we're focusing on money for now. Okay, we don't really want to use if you've got advanced or medium lock picks on you, you don't really want to use that. So we're going to put this in our inventory and we're going to add it to our quick slot. So now we can just press three to make sure we use the bobby pin. And then we basically you just move the mouse, okay, to where it's open. So basic lock picking, when you start, you can move it like this. You press F to see if it goes, just move it, you know, and then move it a little bit and then move it a little bit until you find the sweet spot. Okay, that's the basics of lock picking. 
I just do it, yeah, I just do it a little bit quicker because you'll practice over time, but I'm very far from good. They are good lock pickers. I am very, very average, but these lockers are a very, very great place to start practicing, okay? And I don't like this gun, but I'm going to take it because I want to sell it, okay? That's the main reason for me looting, looting now. It's not really to, if I get, you know, if I get something that I really, really like, sure, like SF-19 or HS-9, you know, then I'll keep it. And again, going to press three. Oh, okay. There we go. We press three because we need it in our inventory. We get the stab proof vest, very, very important. We're getting protection already, okay? Which makes us a little bit harder to kill, which is always great. There's a nine mil, which we might use, okay? We can already add it to the quick slot. We can press four and we can load a nine more round in because we already found a nine more round. So we can actually hurt someone now. And then we're just going to do these two over here. And then we're going to craft two lockpicks. And then we're going to put it down into our inventory so that we can use the quick slot. I just want to sell. That is all I'm focusing on. Okay, and we used all our screwdrivers. If we had a crowbar, we would, we would be able to open this one. If we looted every single puppet we killed, then a puppet would have probably given us an extra... Um, an extra screwdriver, okay? But now we're just going to check if we can find something good in here. We're going to walk in here, press tab... And then just beat the beat the living daylights out of this puppet. Okay, like I say, I didn't really search the puppets, but if you search a puppet, it is possible for the puppet to give you a screwdriver. Definitely won't get there's a chance, but I don't think we're gonna get lucky with the first puppet that we search. But like you can, guys can see, puppet can give you items, and these buildings are quite nice. Okay. I don't think I've looted 100 percent of the town. I might have only looted like 80% of the town. But like I say, with the baseball bat, you know, we can really attack them from far away. And the baseball bat with nails really, really hurts them. Okay. So we're just going to go through here quickly. See if we can find anything. I did find the little axe in this building. Okay. So these buildings are really, really good um, for loot that you'll need to craft your base and stuff like that. Then we pick up the spray can, and then we're going to go to the trader to try and get that thousand bucks in our bank account, okay, so that we can respawn. And if we if we if we get enough money now, we can buy the thread, even if we got unlucky like we did. So at the moment, you're always looking for the closest trader. C2 is the closest trader. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so here we are at the trader. Let's see what we can sell. We won't be really be able to buy anything. What's up? But let's see what we can if sell you're here. To rob the police, I guarantee you, I'm well armed. So the magazine is going for money. That axe is going for money. It won't be difficult to find another axe. We're gonna sell these two guns, which we don't need. We're gonna sell that. We're gonna basically sell everything that we like. Like I want to keep that nine more ammo. Don't really gonna. I'm not really gonna use the sh a shotgun right now. Gonna sell all of that, okay? Just gonna keep the gun. That thing registered. And that's already giving uh, giving us two thousand bucks, cares. guys. That is already giving us two thousand bucks, okay? Which is extremely important. We didn't really get any medical supplies. I just want to go to the general store quickly. To see if I can 
get, how much the thread is because I want to deposit 2000 bucks into my bank account. Welcome, welcome. Here's but I, what I've got. But I want to get the thread as well. So the, that, that didn't go for a lot. Selling a lock is not that great, but it is quite easy to find locks in the game at present. So, yeah. Um, I think I'm rather going to sell the lock than sell anything else. Yeah. So I'm rather going to I'm rather going to sell the lock for now. Let's see what you have. And then I'm going to get thread, going to get two thread. And I'll show you guys why now. Going to get two thread here. Okay, then we're going to go to the bank. Make sure to stop Greetings, valued customer. Okay, we're going to purchase a classic card for ourselves. Okay. Yes, we're going to put in a pin, whatever pin we choose. Um, and then we're going to put the pin in. We're going to deposit all the money that we have so that we can respawn twice, even if, even if you just got a thousand. You know, it's good as long as you have a thousand into the account to respawn. We're going to eject the card and then we're going to put in the pin wrong and we're going to put the pin in wrong again so that if somebody steals our card, they've only got one guess instead of three guesses to guess our pin correctly. Okay. Now we've got the 2000 bucks in the bank account, which is fantastic. We can buy some food or stuff like that. We found enough food. And now because of this, we can... We can, but we can make two bow silences, okay? Which is very, very important. You can't really go into an abandoned bunker um, without bow silences. And an abandoned bunker is going to give you really easy loot without taking any major risks, okay? Bunkers are a part of the game. So all we need is two bones, bone needles from a puppet. We kill a puppet, we chop him up to get the bone, and we need um, five rag strips, which we can just cut up um rags into rag strips and then we've got two bow silences and then with the uses that we have left we can craft two um sewing kits okay to be ready so let me go find two puppets out in the in you know in the outside world quickly and i'll get back to you guys okay to open a can it's almost the same as I showed you now. You click on the knife, you click on the can, and you open it. Okay, you need to click on the knife as well to say to the game you want to use the knife to open the can. And now we're just going to eat all of that. Okay. Just want to see. I don't. I never want to take my stomach past ninety percent. So I think I'm just going to eat half the can because the can has got four uses. So if I stop this before fifty percent. I'll still have two uses left. There we go. So we still have two uses left. So the water is going up at a major rate because of the mixture of clean water and the food that we're drinking and the food's going up, okay? To give us a very, very nice balance. And if we want to, we can enter a banded bunker now with our two bow silencers and our ranged melee weapon. Um, or we can just do normal bunkers to get more military loot to fill up our bank account so that we never have to worry about, you know, whether we can respawn in a sector or not. But yes, guys, I hope this showed you guys that everything has a purpose. Towns are very, very good for your starting gear, but it's not just the houses that give you the boring loot. Like getting clothing is very, very important. Getting the thread is very, very important. Um, if we didn't get the hiking backpack, we will be able to craft the the big, the big biggest backpack that you can craft because of survival. Um, you know, and then you get the police station that can give you gear. You get the garages that can give you screwdrivers or medium lockpicks, okay? So a town has isn't one-dimensional, Um and even a bunker isn't one-dimensional because a bunker consists out of different rooms, bathrooms, medical rooms, um, armories, you know, laboratories, barriers. So every place you visit is, is not focused on one type of loot, okay? You get different types of loot at every location. 
every place that you loot is diversified depending on how you loot it. Like if you go to the brick factory, if you just go for, to the brick factory for bricks, sure, it's not that good. But if you loot everything in the brick factory, you will see that even the brick factory is diversified, okay? So just focus on that. We, we went from a crafted axe and, you know, a bow to a baseball bat with nails and food and money and gear, you know, and we can always find a better bow at any castle. We can go to this castle or the B0 castle, or the monument, okay, that's over here. Um, you know, or we can find like a charging cable that gives us blue wire. If you get a 10 out of 10 blue wire, you can craft a 35 pound bow, which is stronger than a 20 pound bow. But I hope this helped you guys to get to the next level as fast as possible. But even with this gear on you, you can die, okay? Weird things can happen. If you die from a player, I don't suggest going back to your body, but you can make mistakes, you know, at various points. And, um, yeah. In the next episode, I'm just going to give you easy ways to keep track of where you left your vehicle, where you died, okay? And just help you to get back to your body as fast as possible. So in lesson four, we're going to die on purpose and see what, you know, how we can get back to our body really, really fast and how we can try and figure out where our body is with the help sources that we have to use or to utilize. If, if this video helped you, please click the like button. And if you want to see more and you want to learn more about Scum, click the subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified of future videos, guys. Have a great day and see you guys next time. Cheers.